Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Brogy from The Strength Co. And today I want to talk about an important topic. Am I an intermediate? If you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. Well, the first and obvious answer is anybody that's wearing a squats shirt by Massonomics clearly has been around the block and knows where to buy nice apparel. But lay that aside, this is a very popular question for people getting started with either starting strength or strong lifts or starting their strength journey. They do a little bit of research, maybe they watch our video on stress recovery adaptation, and they realize that there is a time that they will go from being a novice to an intermediate and they wanna know if they're there yet. Most of the times they wanna know if they're there yet because like most of the reason people won't do basic barbell training programs is because it's boring and they wanna go on to something else. Haven't I done enough three sets of five of heavy squats? Can't I be an intermediate and now do something cool? But at the same time, a lot of people wanna know because they wanna keep making progress and they wanna know if they're maybe missing lifts because they're overtrained or undertrained or what the issue may be, and it's a legitimate question. So let's talk about what a novice is versus an intermediate first. When we talk about a novice, we're not talking about a rookie, right? We're not talking about the new guy in the gym, although he may be the new guy in the gym. We're talking about someone that adapts to stresses very quickly. Because they are untrained and therefore kind of weak, their rate of adaptation is very high. This doesn't have a ton to do with their age or anything like that. It just has to do with the fact that they haven't been lifting and they haven't been applying stress to their body. So they start squatting, pressing, benching, and deadlifting, and the very next session, they're ready for more weight. I just coached a guy today for the first time and he came in and he deadlifted 205 for five. And I have no doubt that two days from now he'll be ready for 215 for five and then 225 for five. And he will make progress very quickly because his rate of adaptation is high. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. But it's a little bit different from someone that's trained for a while. If I pull 495 for five, I mean, that's pretty stressful, right? Let's say I weigh the same amount as the guy that started today. My amount of work that I did was a lot more and I may need more recovery. I mean, may need more time. Maybe I can't do that every week. So an intermediate, what we often call them is someone that needs weekly progress. So instead of every single session, they're adding weight to the bar on every single lift, maybe on one lift each day, they're adding more weight to the bar. So their progress is still happening and it's still happening weekly and weekly progress is great, but it's just not happening every single session. And so it's a graduation from novice to intermediate. Now, here's the part of this you're not gonna like. Most people are not intermediates because most people have not pushed the novice program. It's just the truth. I wish it wasn't true, but having owned gyms for years now, I've seen it over and over and over again. New guy gets convinced he should lift weights, comes to the gym, lifts for a few months. Guess what? It gets really hard. It gets to the point where he thinks about it at night, gets to the point where he has anxiety if he can go up in the squat. And so rather than buckle down, find out what's inside or down between his legs and go get some, he just quits. And he goes and does something else, Pilates, running, whatever. You can do those things, but he just quits lifting weights. And because of that, I don't know if he's an intermediate or not. I don't know if he was ever there because he never put five more pounds on the bar, got under it and tried anyway. You might surprise yourself. So most people that I found are not intermediates. And if they are, they're kind of early intermediates because even if they've pushed that novice linear progression to the extent, they've graduated where they, you know, they've switched up their programming to where they're not squatting heavy every single time. Watch our deadlift program that I use my brother as an example. They've made some of those changes the fact of the reality is, even if they're an early intermediate, something in life is going to happen to, to keep them from becoming an advanced lifter, you know, because they're gonna go on vacation, job change, something's gonna happen. So what I would tell you is this, don't sit around and wonder if you're an intermediate or not and think about the next best thing. If you can walk into the gym right now and add five more pounds and get stronger, don't do anything else and let the bar prove to you that you've become an intermediate. Ride one down to the pin, see what it's like, go to pull a set of five and only get a triple. You will learn a lot about yourself, you'll learn a lot about your recovery, and then when you have data. Well, at least you tried it and now you know something. Either way, you've got data. 
you can go into your intermediate intermediate phase of lifting and understand things that you respond to and things that you don't. Again, this is why a coach can be super helpful because they help people with all this stuff. But what I'm telling you, the takeaway for you, the guy that just wants free advice off YouTube is push the novice phase as long as you can. Hope you liked the video. If you do, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.